so safe, so safe. This place is amazing. Oh I just walked literally around the whole floor looking for 201. Oh. <laughs> you. Alan. Oh, cool. It's not bad. Never leave Brennan Myers in a room alone. One ninety three point two. I have lost ten pounds, but I will be gaining fifteen like that. Stay tuned. Good morning, Brandon. How you doing? Hello, Dr. Patrick, nice to meet you. Good morning. Oops, so go ahead and start in. Okay. You hold here. I'm gonna try to pull out. Okay. And hold. Hold, 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 hold. Bah, hold. Weakness. Weakness, but no pain. No, but it, I think you have three issues. You have one is that biceps tendonitis. So, you know, biceps muscles here. Okay. And then the tendon doesn't insert straight. It actually loops. Right. And what happens is when it gets inflamed, that's when we did a test called Speed's test. Okay. When you hold, you put a lot of strain on it and it hurt. And then I think you have some type of tendinosis in the supraspinatus. Yeah, so which just means that that tendon has just been so overused, it gets thicker and thicker. Right. There's something going on in this posterior delt. You know, it might be um, teres major, teres minor. All right, we'll get you going. Cool. If I just scoot forward a little bit, you're going to swallow. There you go. Ultrasound and stem with a little bit of heat. They're like metal tools. And Huh? You ever killed anybody doing that? Um, uh, yeah, on Wednesdays. <laughs> I try to do this quick, so uh -huh. this goes all the way around. Brother, uh, appreciate it. Pleasure meeting you, man. See, see the Thank video you. tomorrow. It's gonna be on there. Um. Going down. It's expired and I was about to get two tickets. Expired. I don't have a license plate in the front of the car, so I would get a double ticket. Didn't get the double ticket. We're good. If you're wondering who I was going to see, that is Dr. Pat Mori from Performance Lab of California told me to go see him. So I decided, you know, I'm just gonna go check it out. Doing. Don't do it. Good morning! You the avatar again for today? <laughs> I have a really, really good story for you guys. Going back to my freshman year of co Oh, hold on. Lambo. Going back to my freshman year of college, we had these anatomy and physiology books. Really, really expensive. So usually you'd buy them for like $80 and then you'd end up selling them back for like $70 but most people didn't do it. I was playing college football at the time. Had no money, not money at all. Most college football players have zero money. Oh, you're good. No, no, go ahead, go ahead, you're good. Dude. No, you're good, you're good, no. So what I decided to do were take these books and buy them at a very, very low price. The price was about, I believe it was $20. I would buy it for like 15 or 20 bucks. And then yes, you guessed it. I would take that $20 and I would turn it over and sell it back to the company that I originally purchased it from for like 70 bucks. So in the end, in four days, I made about $1,300 doing that. Gotta hustle. I did want to say one thing. If you honestly believe you cannot make money, you are highly, highly mistaken. You can make money in so many different ways. You just have to be creative and you gotta hustle. I'm trying to hold my fast as long as possible today. I might even make it 24 hours. We'll see. I'm going to play some volleyball.
So are you, are you saying that you dove for the ball? I have once you, or twice. You have, you have, okay. <laughs> Remember you put it on your lens. It was good. <laughs> Let's go. Ready? Ah! Four, no, so hold that. Hold. Get it, Lex. Come on, Lexi, we believe in you. Zoom in on those quads. It's not hard if you just yourself do it. Lex, how's the food? Amazing. Amazing. Um, I am currently 21 hours into my fast, and I decided to eat. I decided to break it. I wanted to make it to 24, but I was like, you know what? Might as well just eat. Your girlfriend wouldn't let you. My girlfriend wouldn't let me. That's what really happened. <laughs> Meeting's done. Food's done. Now I have to get some rehab in. <sighs> Smashed. Just a few minutes ago, I was scrolling through the comments of yesterday's posted video, and someone did comment saying, are you upset that you're losing strength and losing muscle? And I told him, absolutely not. There's a reason behind this. I already told and talked about, hey, I'm gonna be learning and, and building strength elsewhere in the motivational video I posted a couple of days ago. But also, I know where I am currently. And that's the thing, I know how hard I work. I know everything about building muscle and building strength. So when I do lose all of these things, I'm not worried because I know I can gain it back. And that's what knowledge is all about. Knowledge is about taking something and being able to evolve from it. And if you're able to do that with anything, a business, you can, you can make millions and millions and millions of dollars because you know how to build any type of business once you learn how to build a business. And with my body, it's the same exact thing. So am I upset? Absolutely not. It is what it is. I got hurt and I have to deal with it. I have to suffer the consequences, but I also get to learn in other areas of my life and strengthen those so that I can become even stronger and more powerful for the future. I'm happy, I'm happy as hell.